men. We don't know what we did. Is that we're not going to reach herd immunity because of vaccine hesitancy, and I know that's hard for a lot of people to believe who desperately want the vaccine right now, and they're thinking, oh well, it's just a small percentage of people who are actually anti-vaxxers, and that's true. There is the anti-science, anti-vaxxer contingent, and then there's you know us, right? Those who are like 99% survival rate. We're already seeing the uh, tide, like all of these surges that. People climbed on CNN and Fox and all these other outlets and screamed was on its way. Mm, nah, nah, not, not quite really. I mean, all these super spreader events haven't really led to the mass casualties that everyone were, was predicting on the news about, I don't know, a year ago when this was all introduced as 15 days to stop, to stop stop the spread. So, you know, I mean, there are some people who are just like, oh my goodness, my, my, my baby don't need measles, smallpox, anything else like that. True, true, true. There is a, a contingency of people who are like that. Then there's other people who like, you know, are looking at things or trying to look at things from a completely objective perspective and can't help but notice that, you know, once again, 99% survival rate and uh, a lot of other ailments went a missing during the past year, including the flu and the like. But let's continue hearing what uh, this lady has to say. I think that there are many more people, millions of people, who, for whatever reason, have concerns about the vaccine, who just don't know what's in it for them. And we because there's literally nothing in it for us when it's a 99% survival rate. Like, come on, lady. Look, man. I can't sit here and condone anyone beating up anybody for from any, you know, say for any from any group for really any reason outside the fact that they physically attacked you first. Right. But when you see certain patterns and the like, I mean, if you wonder where some where some of that animosity may spring from, not all of it, but a portion of that animosity may spring from. I mean, look no further. Yeah, you can't you couldn't even get like a Becky or <laughs> like you don't get a white chick out here uh saying this. To make it clear to them that the vaccine is the ticket back to pre-pandemic life. And the window to do that is really narrowing. I mean, you were mentioning, Chris, about how all these states are reopening. They're reopening at a hundred percent. And we you heard that, right? You heard that. Like that feels like a threat to an extent because she's like yeah all these states are reopening so we can't mandate that you can go back to your regularly scheduled program particularly here in the united states uh without having this uh the, 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 without getting stabbed and unfortunately you know uh, this country it's just it's so unruly right like Ron Santos looks like freaking Iron Man right now because he was like, nah, we're not going to do all like, you know, municipalities do what you want. But as far as the state of Florida goes, we just going to like take the hands off approach, which is the point. It's the entire point of government in the United States. I can't speak for anybody else's. Right. But here in the United States, and I've said this on this um, channel various times, you have several layers of government. You have local slash county, you have state, and then you have federal. And the in real talk, ultimately, there's each one is supposed to back off and let the other one do what it's supposed to do until eventually we get to you as the individual. Right. But that's not, and you have the freedom to go about your life however you so desire. Just, hey, you're going to have taxes to pay. It's a part of the game. But because, you know, a, a certain ideology from a, a certain uh, country of unknown or a, a, a certain country who may or may not have had a bit of a hand in uh, spreading the hype and hysteria around this entire ordeal. Um, they, uh, like they, 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 they have a, a um, how do I put this? The ideology of uh, communism hard at play, which is completely counterproductive to what we in the United States traditionally, right. Have, uh, come up on, which is capitalism and China and China should really chill with all of that because let's be real. Y'all got y'all doing y'all capitalist thing too now. 
but you have the social credit scores and all this other stuff. I mean, we have financial credit here in the, in the U.S., but in China, you got the social credit and, you know, you pick and choose who you really want, pardon me, to really come up. Whereas here in the U.S., it, tend, it, it can come across as more organic, but really it isn't. It's just as controlled as uh, anything else. But yeah. This, uh, like I said, this feels like, oh, yeah, you know, the window's narrowing up for us to be able to really lock in the control and, and scare people into getting this, uh, into getting stabbed. We have a very narrow window to tie reopening policy to vaccination status, because otherwise, if everything is reopened, then what's the carrot going to be? How are we going to incentivize people to actually get the vaccine? But that's the thing. It, it's it, it, freedom, baby. If you want to get it. Go ahead. If it's there for you here in Jersey, we have like uh, like like 97 percent of the population isn't vaccinated yet. You know, the 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 cases are all rolling back and the like. So, uh, like, I mean, one would say mission accomplished when it comes to the whole herd immunity thing. Right. But no, 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 because it was never about your individual safety. It was always about control. So that's why I think the CDC and the Biden administration needs to come out a lot bolder and say, if you're vaccinated, you can do all these things. Here are all these freedoms that you have, because otherwise people are going to go out and enjoy these freedoms anyway. And I fear a situation of coming into the fall where we never reach herd immunity and then we get hit by the. But by all technical means, ma'am, we've already reached herd immunity and um, <laughs> she's like. Yeah, like, I mean, you, like you ain't going to offer you your freedoms. That's not how America is supposed to work. Now, may, let's, let's be very clear throughout those uh, layers of government that I spoke of. I mean, particularly at the local level. Yeah, it, it's very it can be very communistic and very fascistic um, at the local levels. But to have it spreading as far and as wide, particularly throughout the federal government as it has, is just it, like this is disgusting. It really is because it goes to show over the past few generations how we've, you know, like really allowed, really allowed, um, you know, our freedoms to be slowly chipped away at to a point where she's just like, yeah, we're going to sit there and hold your freedom over your head. Sweetie, sweetie, eh, nah, nah, not nah here. Not here. Well, we like to think not here, but hey, the heist happened and we got who we got in the at the federal level. But you got G's like us, uh, the uh, DeSantis and um, old girl out in North Dakota. Uh, plenty of other Texas just got on board. So like, you know, and we're, we're going to be we got to get rid of Phil Murphy here in Jersey um, this year that oh man, I got to I definitely I'm, I'm on top of it, guys. I'm definitely on top of uh, like the governor's race. Right now, Phil Rizzo's looking like the best bet uh, as far as somebody who at least knows what the word constitution is, but we'll see how that plays out. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it a like, dislike, go ahead and do that, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you can like are the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Patreon as well. Links in the description. Get in that description box actually and do damage and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments uh sorry sweetie this is uh like uh, american culture like like the heart of american culture the reason why a lot of people migrate here a lot of people the reason a lot of people want to migrate here is because of the of the at those exact same freedoms that you are you know you're you that you want the biden administration to use as leverage against the american populace and you know that's the, like that's the type of shit that starts wars man <laughs> But you guys let me know what you think in the comments, okay? And until the next one.
Over the next 90 minutes, I'd like to show you that all your problems can be solved by my penis.